Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you. Nice to be back here in the bathroom shaving with my friends. That's you guys out there. Yeah. How you all doing? How's things where you are in the world? Uh, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Uh, right, let me show you the things I'm using in today's shave. Uh, the first is a new razor from my good friends at Global Shave, Sheldon and Co. Uh, Sheldon Quinn, here it is here. This is called the Chameleon. Now, Global Shave have got a new facility in uh, Pakistan, I think it is. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, Pakistan. They have a new um, factory. I'm just checking that. There's a piece of paper here with all the kind of info on it. Uh, they have a new facility in Pakistan that they're putting the razors out of. Uh, so this is where they're all made now. Uh, and they've certainly upped their game with the packaging. It comes in this nice thick cardboard box. Uh, it comes off like that, and there's the razor in there. Now this is called the Chameleon, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, there we go, it's a twist to open razor, all brass construction. Uh, you twist the bottom here, and the head opens like that. Yeah, very smooth, very smooth. Um, let me just show you it now. This handle is dipped, each handle is dipped in uh, acrylic, so every one is different. There's no two the same. Can you see that there? It's quite nice. So everyone will be different. Every razor that comes uh, out the factory will be slightly different in some way. Yeah, twist it open. Here we go. Nice quality, it looks good. Uh, let me just show you the, actually there's a, a little sheet that Sheld Sheldon um, sends through. So I'll just take a couple of pictures and uh, I'll put them on the screen right now. And you can pause them and take a look. It has all the uh, details about the razor. So that's all the details. There's the handle. Yeah, it's um, it doesn't feel slippy, but it's, it's smooth. But we'll see how it is with uh, once it gets water and kind of lather and stuff on it. As I say, twist it open. So there it is there. Yeah, quite nice. I like the way of it. Right, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is out of uh, India. This is a Willie's blade. Um, there's the package there. These are the blades. Yeah, you get these with the uh, Pearl Flexi. If you bought a Pearl Flexi, I think they still include these in the box. Um, good blade, not a, not a terribly rough blade. They're quite smooth. I've used them before, double wrapped, which is good, I like that. So I will just, uh, there we go. Willie's Premium, so I'll just put that in the razor, like that. Close up the doors, <clears throat> check the blade alignment, yeah, it's all good. Uh, there's good bit of overhang at the sides here, as you can see, just uh, the, the blade tabs sticking out. Right, so um, Global Shape Club say this razor is uh, 5 out of 10 for uh, aggressiveness, so kind of straight in the middle, we'll see how that is. Right, the brush I'm going to be using is uh, that darn Rob Silversmith. Uh, with the Timber Wolf synthetic knot. Uh, there's Rob's coin in the bottom. Rob's, that done Rob is now called um, Chisel and Hound. But I got this brush when it was still that done Rob, Rob Moffat. Very, very nice. One of my favorite brushes. Right, let me show you the soap. A new soap uh, from uh, a country I've never had a soap from before, uh, South Africa. This is Master Soap Creations Orange and Cedarwood Small Artisan, Small Batch Artisan Soap, handcrafted in South Africa. Um, right, 170 grams, which is nearly six ounces of soap. So very good. Uh, there's the soap there. It's orange and it's cedarwood. That's what it is. That's all it is. That's what it says it is. That's exactly what it smells like. A nice, a nice uh, citrus orange scent. Yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, the ingredients are on here, but they're very, very small. Um, I don't know if that's even going to focus. There we go. So that's what's in the soap. Nice labels. Uh, yeah, I'll, the thing about this, um, this that you put that into to Google, uh, Master Soap Creation South Africa, and it comes up with a Yaki South Africa website. So I don't know if there's 
kind of some affiliation there, but um, these soaps are, are, are made in South Africa. Uh, Fernando is the guy that makes these soaps. Um, I'll put a link to the website, but value for money. If you're looking for value for money, I think these work out roughly about, about six pounds for nearly six ounces of soap. I don't know what the shipping is, but that's roughly about maybe eight, nine, ten dollars in the US. So very good, uh, but we'll see how it performs. Um, yeah, they have, um, well, let me get going, I'll speak about it. <laughs> Otherwise we'll be here all day. <laughs> right, no pre-shave today. Just wetting the face. I don't know why, because I still need to load the brush, but that's all right, I'm not, I'm not in any hurry when I make these videos. They are what they are. Some, um, some people seem to rush through their videos now. I've got to get everything done, I've got to get everything done. See ya. <laughs> I just take my time and do it, it is what it is. If you want to skip through it, that's fine. If you want to watch, that's fine. If you want to watch it with the sound off, <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> right, I've wet the brush. Let's just go straight in. Yeah, so I was going to say, that's nice, that's uh, gathering the soap straight away. I was going to say, uh, on their website, they do a lot of, um, like, cologne dupes uh, with, in soaps, you know, with a, a, the scent of a cologne. Wow. That's a nice, um, strong scent. Four lathered up, I'd say it was probably about a four. Maybe it's about a seven now. Nice orange scent coming through. Very nice. I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush again. Don't know how much to load, so if we need to go back, we will. Right, let's just gather all that. Put some of that on there. So it's not to waste the lather. Right, let's just go. Yeah, they have um, they have some uh, cologne scented kind of dupes, but it's all on the website, so you can take a look for yourself. As I say, very very good value for money. Uh, I'm not sure the shipping costs, you know, overseas and stuff like that, but you can always ask in an email. I'm sure they'll have a contact form. Fernando's a really nice guy to chat to and stuff. He's uh, contacted me about these soaps. I think he said um, uh, there were some other YouTubers who were getting them, so I think Ken Surfs has used one or two. I think Paul's getting some as well. Putting some water in the brush there. Yeah, these are uh, tallow based soaps. This brush is fair. Just dipping the tips again. Nice lather. A nice scent too. Yeah, I would say it's more um, orange forward than uh, cedarwood. There is a, a slight woodsy hint at the, at the base of the soap, the base of the scent, sorry. But nice. Yeah, look. Those peaks, superb. Right, we'll go with that. I'm happy with that. Can you see that? You can see the shine on that as well. Very good. Good stuff. Right. I'm not even going to clean up. Let's just uh, heat the razor and blade up. So this is the Global Shave Club Chameleon. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of it there. Yeah, it changed. The chameleons change. But um, I've put water on it and it doesn't feel slippy. So um, we'll see how it is.
So yeah, these uh, these twist to open razors all have a a similar kind of feel to them. The uh, the head it almost feels kind of light when it's going over the the stubble. That's nice uh, slickness on that soap. Yeah, you can hear the kind of, um, it almost sounds like a cheap tinny. I think it's just because the uh, there's a little kind of cavity in there between the top cap and the blade and, and there, oh, it's almost uh, But it feels pretty smooth on this first pass. Anyway, it's a nice blade. Just uh, again, a light touch. Five out of ten, it said for aggressiveness. Uh, aggressiveness, that's probably spot on. Yeah, probably spot on with that. You probably, well, you maybe not, some of you might not be, but um, those that are new to the channel, you might say, well, if you're going with the grain, why don't you just shave straight down on your neck there? Um, this is a little trouble spot I have. Uh, I've had it since <laughs> day one. Um, years of cartridge razor shaving. So on the first pass, I always kind of go diagonally that way. Just, uh, it's just, the way I've learned to do it the past kind of five years. Right, let me see how that feels. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, good slickness. Not the best, but it's uh, definitely there, but it might get better as the shave goes on. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. See you in a minute. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Yeah, there is um, slickness there, definitely. Um, feels good. Right, back to this brush. Just gonna dip the tips a little bit. Mm, nice scent. It's just that uh, there's nothing, you know, some of these scents you get now, they're very well blended, but there's about 10 different scents in them that's got this and this and this and this and this, but this is just good old plain orange and cedarwood. That's what it is. And that's what the scent is. So if that's your thing, citrusy, woodsy scent, this will be for you. Great lather. Holding up well, no problems. Still plenty left in that brush. Right, back to this. Um, Chameleon razor. Yeah, it's not slippy at all. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really, it's not the best grip, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's um, going to slip when I'm uh, using it. Right, second pass across the growth. Just uh, being aware of the overhang. And the, uh, the cost of this razor, or the 
suggested suggested retail price is thirty dollars. So uh, thank you for all the comments on the last couple of videos. The uh, if I could only choose five tag video and the one before that with the Tatara uh, Muramasa. Some guys were saying it's great to see that razor, but it's way too expensive for what I will be able to afford. And it is, it's a, an expensive razor. Um, but I'm here to show you, show you it all, uh, show it all to you. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I'm very lucky. I get to try these, these things out. Well, this is nice. Nice razor, if you're into uh, twist it opens. No messing about taking razors apart, you just twist the bottom, the doors will open, drop the blade in, close the doors, these doors, and you're ready to go. Yeah, no messing about. Does feel nice, feels uh, smooth enough. That's a little cut from the last shave. Uh, I didn't film it. I was going to film it and then I, I just ran out of time. We were going out, uh, pardon me, we were going out somewhere, so it was just a, it was just a quick shave. Hence the reason I Got myself a little nick. Right, second pass is done. Yeah, that's starting to feel slicker now. Very good. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the third pass against the growth. Right, back for the third pass. Right, I'll just, uh, I'm just going to scoop the lather. What's on the bottom there? Put it on there. Put the rest on there. Yeah, I think this uh, this soap company do a lot of um, uh, menthol <laughs> menthol soaps. <laughs> I think they do a lot of menthol soap. So um, I said to Fernando, I wasn't a, a big menthol fan, so um, he sent a couple through that that weren't mentholated. So uh, I think Ken used a menthol one. And I think Paul will probably have menthol ones because he likes menthol. Yeah, so what I was thinking there about talking about the, the Tatara razor, how expensive it is and stuff like that. And guys saying they'll never be able to shave with that because they wouldn't pay that much for a razor. That's the thing I like about this way of shaving. And I like to show it on my... Uh, on my videos as well. It's not all high-end gear all the time. Um, it's good to use stuff like I'm using today. It's uh, readily available, affordable. Um, yeah, and, and it works. Right, third pass against the growth. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to use the latest and greatest stuff, but it's also good to use stuff like this because, um, you know, everyone is different as regards as what kind of budget they have for spending on shave gear and stuff like that. Um, other priorities. Well, other things take priorities in guys' lives, you know, families and stuff like that. I don't have kids or anything, so... Uh, I have more, probably, disposable income for that reason, you know. I haven't got family to raise and stuff like that. Just a dog. <laughs> he costs enough. 
that, I've opened that again, look. Same, same little thing that's been the last three shaves. And, uh, of course, Mrs. Kerry. I need to look after her and her uh, jacket, handbags and shoes obsessions. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the same one. I've opened up the last three shaves. Just a little at the corner of the mouth there. Feels good under the nose. Right, three passes done. Let me have a quick rinse. Yeah, down here, usual. How are your shaves going, by the way? Really? That's good. Yeah, all these little uh, straggler hairs underneath here. Right along this jawline. It's got them. I tell you what, that's, these are uh, nice blades, these uh, willy blades. They're smooth. And they're, they're relatively cheap. So even if you get two shaves from one blade. Uh, you know, it's still a uh, good value. Yeah, just a bit there. Right, it's good, good stuff. Right, cold water rinse. Ah, nice. Right, I'm gonna take what's in the brush. Have a little face wash with this stuff, good stuff. And uh, clean up the gear, rinse it off with hot and cold, see for the post shave. Nice shave. Skin feels good, nice and soft. BBS shave. What more could you ask for? I'll tell you what more you could ask for. Some witch hazel, okay? <laughs> right, um, you can buy this in the UK out of, uh, I think you get it in Superdrug, places like that. Savers is about two pounds a bottle. Uh, I'm getting down to the bottom of it now. So, yeah, it doesn't have a restrictor or anything. Just put your finger over it, let it drizzle out. Some people say they don't like the smell of it, but not got much scent really. And once it goes on, it's on and it disappears within a matter of seconds. Just good for the skin. Facial toner to revive those youthful looks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, on to the uh, aftershave. Uh, Fernando very kindly sent the matching splash for this. Right, I'm gonna show you the ingredients, but it looks like something's been cut out of there. I wonder if he's taken out the alcohol, if there is alcohol in it, so he can ship it. <laughs> he's like, he's cut a little bit out, but um, it has witch hazel in it, which um, I probably shouldn't have used the witch hazel, but there you go, that's the ingredients there. Uh, so this is orange and cedarwood, the matching splash. 
and give it a little shake. Nice restrictor on there. Oh, it's orange in colour. It looks like orange juice. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can see that or not. It <laughs> yeah, it looks like orange juice. Wow, <laughs> it smells like orange juice. Oh, that is really, really orangey. Wow. That, that, that smells like... <laughs> there's a little bit of woods at the base, but... <laughs> There's no burn in it, so I don't think there is alcohol in it. No burn at all. So probably just like skin food. But very good. Wow, really, really strong um, orange scent. Very, very um, realistic. I'm going to have a little, another little bit. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there you go, an orange splash. Oh, really good. Really... It smells like the uh, orange peel. Yeah, very, very good. I actually prefer this to the soap. <laughs> that is excellent. That is excellent stuff. Uh, and to finish it off, I'm going to use some Executive Shaving Intense Moisturising Balm. Just uh, one pump of that. That's more than enough. Oh, then. Yeah, it doesn't have much scent to it. A little goes a long way. <laughs> Actually, that goes well with that orange. <laughs> it looks really nice. It kind of tones it down a little bit. Very good. There we go. There you go, what do you think? Orange. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's so different. That's so different. Very, very good. It, it's got a really intense citrus orange scent to it. Excellent stuff. Right, let me show you what we've used in the shave. The brush uh, was the That Darn Rob Silversmith synthetic with the grey Timberwolf knot. I think it says a 24 millimeter, but beautiful brush. Rob's making some outstanding brushes just now with the chisel and hound. I'll put a link to that and everything else I've used in the shave today. Uh, the razor was the Chameleon from Global Shave Club. Twist to open razor. Everyone you buy will be different or everyone that they put out is different with these handles. They're dipped in this acrylic. It's a twist to open. Inside that, I had a brand new uh, Willys Premium. Let me just show you the box for that. There they are. Good blade. Nice and smooth. No issues in this razor. Uh, razor performed well. Three passes, pickups. No problems at all. Uh, it says 5 out of 10. I would probably agree with that. Probably maybe 4.9 out of 10. What does that mean? It just means it's below 5. Yeah. Oh, here my mouth there. Right, so that's the razor. Um, but a nice razor, as I say. Cheap razor, uh, $30, so not too bad. It's not slippy, performed well. You're just a classic twist to open razor. You, if you've used one before, you'll know the kind of feel you'll get from it. Yeah, but very nice. Uh, the soap, Master Soap Creations, Orange and Cedarwood from South Africa. Thank you, Fernando, for sending this through. Really enjoyable. Uh, there it is there, all cleaned out. Nice soap, tallow base. Uh, so if that's not for you, it's not your thing, but uh, it is what it says, orange and cedarwood. I would say it's more orange forward. There's a little bit of woodsy in the base. Easy to lather, great lather. Three passes, pickups, face wash, uh, no issues at all. Uh, I'll put links to the website. As I say, tremendous value for nearly six ounces of soap. I think it's about 10, $12. Uh, I'm not sure what the shipping is, but very good. Check it out. Uh, three passes pickups. Then we had a face wash and some witch hazel. We used the matching splash. That's excellent. That's, that's the real star of the shave for me. That splash. Superb. 
really, really good. And finished off with the Executive Sharing Intense Moisturising Balm. And there we have it, boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, ladies and gents, whatever denomination you are. There we go, really nice, comfortable shave. Yeah, very good, very, very good. Okay, that's all for me for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that, it's good to show new things. I've never used a, a soap from South Africa before and it works, I didn't have any reaction to it, so all good. Uh, links will be available for everything I've used. If there are, if there is a link available, uh, if you pull down the video, the, the little arrow at the side of this video, you'll see all the links there and you can click on them and go and check it out and uh, have a look at stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully something catches your eye. Right, that's all from me for today. As I say, uh, stay safe, look after loved ones. Um, the restrictions here have lifted a little bit. Ah, we went out for a meal at the weekend. It was so good. It was so good. Sitting down at a table, having someone serve you food, um, someone cook for you. Ah, oh, it was just fantastic. Uh, it was nothing exotic, but it was just, I just loved it. It was just really, really nice to be able to get out and uh, go to a restaurant again and um, yeah, enjoy Mrs. Kevy's company and some food. It was great. It was great. Not that I don't enjoy her company while she's here, but sometimes she can be a bit Nah, <laughs> nah, she's not. She's um, she's the best. She's very understanding about all this shave stuff, and uh, she never, ever, ever moans about this. No more shave gear. Nah, never. Maybe once a week. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you take care of yourselves. Bye bye.